Hi everyone, I am Karthik Ayan, Assistant Professor, Department of Physical Education, JJ College of Arts and Science, Autonomous in Pulkote. Now we are going to discuss about the subject is Research Methodology in Physical Education. First of all, let's see the meaning of research. The word itself is having the meaning of its own as you can slap the word research into the re plus h in which re means again and again and search means find out something. Some of the functions of research is to add a new knowledge to the exciting store again and again and also simplify. Simplified, you can continuously curing knowledge. Next, we will define what is research. Research is defined as the creative and new knowledge and the use of exciting knowledge in a new and creative way of generate new concept, methodology, and understanding. Also, this is called include synthesis and analysis of the previous research to the extent that it pursues a new and creative outcomes. Next, the aim and objective of research methodology. We are going to see the four objectives. First one, to gain familiarity of fact that is observed to exist or to achieve new details understanding about outcome then second one to portray the characteristics situation and any particular individuals or group accurately then third one to determine the frequency of something which occur during research studies the fourth one to test of hypothesis of a casual relationship between variables next next the need and importance of research the basically there are many points are existing under this category now we are going to see some 10 points among the first one it's it is needed for the progress of the field in physical education then second one it gives new dimension of physical education and sports the third one it play important role of development of new equipments and facility fourth one it's it's required to invent new methods, techniques and procedures. Then fifth one, it helps to solve the criteria problems. Then sixth one, it helps to prevent athletic injury. Then seventh one, it helps dispel myths about many practice in physical education. Then eighth one, it is useful for the development of scholarly knowledge. Ninth one, it bringing physical education equal with the other discipline. Then tenth one, it is needed for the professional betterment and all-round progress. Next, the classification of research. It can be classified into five types based on purpose and four types based on method. Let's see the five purpose based type followed by method based type. First one is basic research. Second one is applied research. Third one is evaluation research. Fourth one is research and development. Fifth one is action research. Then method based type are 
ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஒன் இஸ் அனலிஸ்டிக்கல் ரிசர்ச் செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் டிஸ்கிரிப்டிவ் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் தேர்ட் ஒன் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரிமெண்டல் ரிசர்ச் அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் குவாலிட்டேட்டிவ் ரிசர்ச் நெக்ஸ்ட் த கிரிட்டீரியா த கிரிட்டீரியா ஃபார் செலெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ரிசர்ச் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் basically the selection of research problems is divided into the two criteria one external criteria another one is personal criteria first let's take a talk about external criteria external criteria it has to be has to be in line novelty importance for the field availability and of data method and administrative cooperation in personal criteria it's it is involved with inter interest towards the problems time and financial factors research competence and knowledge courage and confidence next the quality of good research the quality of good research or he shall work in systematic way and the intelligence and quick thinker ability will be crucial during research and they shall be expert in specific subject and they shall process analytical mind and they shall not produce any anything before researching receiving the result of research and they shall not the cap- capacity of depth information about research field and they should they shall not help any hst statement and and also they shall process excellent writing and communication skill and they should they shall be trained with all research tools and they shall have clear t- terminology and they shall treat their college with equality and they believe in justice and they shall be careful in listening and they must be good observer and they have give progress of result within accuracy and finally they must be economically while doing the research next the location of research problem we might face problems during our research in following occasions first one we we would we would face difficulty in identifying the suitable problem second one may many of the problems that arise in the classroom the room the school or the community led themselves in the in- investigations third one is the systematically recording unsolved problems the f- then fourth one is in uh, analytic literature in the area or subject field and fifth and l- fifth one by analyzing truly an area of spe- special interest the researcher gets many unsolved problems then sixth one is in considering the formal studies results confirmations then seventh one is during examining the controversial issues the eighth one is during the discussions the ninth one is the availing the liberal library sources the 10th one is in discovering the interested to associations and clubs and society last one is in making terminology changes on curriculum development and constantly bringing forth new problems and new opportunities for research 
I hope whatever we have seen so far about the topic research methodology in physical education is very much useful for you and your career. Thank you.